Today we're going to show you how to install the NDS 5-inch Pro Series Channel Drain Kit. A channel drain is an effective way to collect and direct surface water away from your home or property. Channel drains collect water over a large area, making them the perfect solution for water running off of your driveway, sidewalk, patio, or pool deck. Let's get started. In this particular residence, the homeowner wanted to prevent water from running off of the driveway and into the garage. A channel drain will be used to capture the water and direct it away from the house. The channel drain funnels water through pipes and eventually moves the water to a safe distance from the house. Before starting any kind of digging, be sure you know what's underneath the area to be dug up. In most areas, calling 811 will get you to the right folks who can come out and mark the location of the utility lines on your property as shown in this clip. You can also call the local utility to have them come out. Be sure to call cable, water, sewer, gas, storm, phone, and electric. NDS Pro Series channel drains are available in 3 inch, 5 inch, 8 inch, and 12 inch sizes to handle any amount of water. Each channel has adapters that easily connect to a variety of pipe types and sizes. This flexibility allows you to easily create customized drainage systems for your home. This particular installation is of the 5 inch channel drain, but the same steps can be applied to all NDS Pro Series channels. There are two different installation methods, suspension and rebar. Both will be covered in this video. These installations involve the forming, pouring, and finishing of concrete. If you are not comfortable doing this, we recommend you contact a contractor to help with the installation. Now that you know where to safely dig, you're going to need a few tools. For this particular installation, we need the following. 5 inch Pro Series Channel Kit. Shovel to dig the hole. Pick to dig the trench for drain pipe. Tube of clear waterproof silicone. Hacksaw. Masking tape. Drain pipe, we recommend smooth wall PVC. Wood and stakes for concrete form. Concrete, utility knife, hammer and nails, pliers and metal tie wire, measuring tape and permanent marker, sewer and drain elbow. Once we have determined where we are going to install the channel drain and drain pipe, we can start digging. If the channel is installed in an area where cars will be driving over it, you will need 4 inches of concrete on both sides and under the channel to support the load. If cars will not be driving over it, for example on a pool deck, you will only need 4 inches of concrete on each side. The trench for the channel drain needs to be as long and wide as the channel itself, plus 8 inches for concrete and the depth needs to be as deep as the height of the channel plus 4 inches for concrete. If the trench is being dug in an area where there is already concrete poured, a concrete saw will be required. You will also need to dig a trench for the drain pipe. Dig from where the channel drain will be installed to your desired discharge point. This will usually be the street or any other location that is permitted by your municipality. To ensure proper drainage, the trench should be dug such that the drain pipe will slope away from the channel drain at a minimum of 1% or 1 inch of fall for every 8 feet of pipe. You can rent a trenching machine at your local home improvement center to cut down on your digging time. Now that the trench is dug, you can build your concrete form allowing for the channel plus concrete. Forming, pouring, and finishing the concrete can be a lot of work. If you are not comfortable with doing this, we recommend calling your local contractor for assistance. Now that the form is built and set in the trench, measure the length of the form to determine how much channel drain is needed. Next, lay out your channel drain. Use the interlocking feature on each channel to connect the channels together. Now measure the channel and use the marker to determine where to cut the channel to the required length. 
The channel has big ribs and small ribs. Using the hacksaw, cut the channel between the ribs. Now that the channel drain is cut to the needed length, it is time to attach the end cap. In this installation, we will drain the water from the bottom of the channel drain. If you are draining from the end, you will need to also connect an end outlet. To connect the end cap, apply a bead of waterproof silicone to the cap and slide in place. Each channel drain comes with the ability to drain water out of the bottom outlet. These outlets are easily removed with a utility knife. Carefully cut around the outlet to remove. The end outlet is removed in a similar fashion. Now it is time to install the channel. There are two methods that can be used, the suspension method and the rebar method. We will go through the suspension method first. If the channel drain is being installed in an area where cars will be driving over it, the top of the channel should be recessed 1 8 of an inch to 1 quarter of an inch into the concrete so that the wheels of the car hits the concrete instead of the top of the channel. To do this, place a 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch thick piece of wood on top of the channel. Using tie wire, secure the wood to the channel grate. Use the pliers to tighten the wire. Repeat this process along the length of the channel drain. Cover the grate with tape to prevent concrete and other debris from getting into the channel while concrete is being poured. Place a stake or piece of wood perpendicular to the length of the channel. Using tie wire, secure the wood to the channel by looping it around the rebar clips and tighten with pliers. This stake or piece of wood is used to suspend the channel in the form while concrete is being poured. Carefully lift the channel and place it in the form. More than one person may be needed to lift the entire length of the channel. Measure around the channel to ensure that there is enough room for four inches of concrete around the perimeter of the channel. Adjust as necessary. Once the channel is correctly placed, secure the channel to prevent it from moving while the concrete is being poured. Now it is time to connect the drain pipe. Apply a bead of clear waterproof silicone around the elbow and insert into the bottom outlet of the channel drain. Mix and pour concrete into the form to set the channel drain. Once concrete is poured, carefully remove the tape and wood that is suspending the channel. Smooth out concrete to desired finish. We will now review how to install the channel using the rebar method. The steps for assembling, measuring, and cutting the channel are the same for the rebar method as in the suspension method. Cover the grate with tape to prevent concrete and other debris from getting into the channel while concrete is being poured. Next, place bricks in the bottom of the trench. These will help support the channel drain while the rebar is being installed. Place just enough bricks so that the top of the channel is recessed 1 8 to 1 quarter of an inch below the top of the concrete form. This is done to prevent the wheels of a car from hitting the top lip of the channel. For this particular installation, we used five bricks and one wood stake to help accomplish this. Carefully lift the channel and place it on the bricks. More than one person may be needed to lift the entire length of the channel. Measure around the channel to ensure that there is enough room for four inches of concrete around the perimeter of the channel. Adjust as necessary. The rebar clips on the channel are designed to fit both 1 half inch and 5 eighths inch rebar. Carefully place the rebar next to the channel drain and hammer it into place. The top of the rebar should be flush with the rebar clip. Once it is secure in the ground, clip the channel onto the rebar. At this point, the channel is clipped onto the rebar so you can remove the bricks. Alternatively, you can leave the bricks in place while the concrete is poured. Now it is time to connect the drain pipe. Apply a bead of clear waterproof silicone around the elbow and insert into the bottom outlet of the channel drain. Mix and pour concrete into the form to set the channel drain. Once concrete is poured, carefully remove the tape. Smooth out concrete to desired finish. So there you have it. Installing a channel drain can beat a lot of work. 
but will protect your property from future water damage. For more information on this or other NDS drainage products, check out our other videos or visit ndspro.com. Since 1975, NDS has been a leader in stormwater management solutions for the residential and non-residential market. For more information on our other stormwater drainage solutions and special offers, go to ndspro.com.